So the, clearly, yeah, clearly we don't uh, put it as a disability or uh, something that is wrong. Uh, here's what I told Wyatt, because he always says, mommy works for kids who don't have things. And I say, yes, honey, kids like you, this is what I've just started recently telling him. And I said, children with autism, and you have autism, but you've been able to have great therapists and teachers, and some children cannot get that. And I said, but I want you to know that having autism doesn't mean you're any less intelligent. It just means you learn differently and you may need extra help learning how to communicate and speak and in some other areas, and you just need additional help. Is that, was that the right thing to say? Yeah, I think that's that's spot on because it just we all have different you know differences in learning where some people excel at math, some people excel in you know the 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 English arts, some you know are more creative than others. I mean, we all have our our strengths and weaknesses, and we need support in areas that other people don't. And that's the approach that we take with our kids as well, just like you did, um, you know, with Wyatt in that. This is how you're going to learn, and this is the supports that you need to get, you know, to get there. No problem. Let's do it. Where there, I'm sure there's other things and other skills that he has that he doesn't need. Right. You know, uh, coaching or, or teaching or any support. And we point those strengths out just as much as we need to point out, you know, the areas where the child might be challenged.